back to the channel. So we have two more inflatable tiers. We have a seven foot tall tree with characters and a 4.5 tall jack lantern box. I got this one from Lowe's. This one was 67, I thought that was insane. And this was 40, I'll show you this first and I'll show you the jack in the box. Make sure you guys are watching to like, share, and subscribe. I made another video yesterday. My other inflatables. And this one's in a garbage bag. I put it in the garbage bag myself for a reason. It's in there. That. He was a little wet because I put him outside for a test for an hour. I wanted to see what happened, and it rained. I didn't want to wait the whole time for it to come back in. Today it's really sunny, so I'm just gonna prop him outside after this. Because yeah, there's still some water in it. It just smells so bad. It smells like mildew. If you were here, you'd be able to smell this. I mean, at least it's not mold. Cause I know it little smells like this is just mildew from sitting. In. Thankfully, I don't want to have to have a moldy inflatable. That'd be disgusting. Now, this thing's huge. For $40, this thing's huge. Wait a second. Yeah, you can see there's some drippers here. Yeah, one smells weird. It's just been sitting there. The whole thing's wet on the bottom of the fly. It did dry most of the water. Let me step out of the camera for you. This is the seven foot tall tree inflatable and you can see let me just take the camera with me you can see the wet spots here you can see how this is dry and this is wet you can just see the different shades on it but this one lights up really well I really do like this one there's a light in the back of the ghost there's a light in the pack of the candy corn and there's a light in the back of the pumpkin and there is one light in the tree that is four lights all together and there's the blower that's a really big fan blower it doesn't have one of those cheap ones when you buy the $15 ones from Walmart. I don't like those ones. I have those Christmas ones over in the corner over there. I might not even show them to you this year, and I might not even use them. As you see, it almost reaches the ceiling. It's maybe a foot and a half off, but it almost reaches the ceiling. Like, this thing is really big. And for $40, what could you go wrong for seven foot? I think I know why it was so cheap, because there's no extra decals on it. It's just simple little things. I don't know. I don't know, that's why I think it was pretty cheap. Because seven foot ones are not that cheap. Seven foot ones are like fifty, sixty dollars. I guess it does depend on what kind it is. Like you can see water on the floor now. From it. This one is not water. This is the jack in the box. From 2021, when I saw it in Lowe's, we were in there getting a lawnmower. I had to get this. I mean, we were gonna get eventually Halloween inflatables too. And I'm like, Mom, when we come back, I have to get this. Because this is a crowd pleaser. I do really like this one. Everyone in my house actually loves this one. So this one is really nice. I could definitely pick it up. Like 100%, like get it. Like if you have kids, like get this. They'll love this. And I have a cousin that I showed him this and he really liked it. Probably is my favorite one this year. Up against the train I just bought, 
and I just bought another moving one. I never had moving ones, because in New York, it would snow and they would break a lot, so I never got moving ones. I'm happy that I did get this one, though. This was one I was not going to, like, get away. But it's something you wouldn't see anywhere. You know, it's something fresh. It's something interesting. At nighttime, they painted this black, sewed it black, so you can't actually see that at night. At nighttime, it looks like it's just the pumpkin popping up and down. They got some leaves on them. He lights up really well. There's two lights in the actual Jack in the Box. There's one in the back of the Jack in the Box, and I think two in the head. It's those small LED lights, but these ones are better. These ones light up a lot more. I'm going to let it pop up one more time for you, and then I'm going to end the video here. There he goes. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth the money. Maybe if it was a little bit taller, like maybe at least five feet. It's four and a half foot tall. Maybe if they made it one more foot taller, then maybe I would love it even more. Out of the satisfactory here, I'll rate it. I give it an eight out of ten. They had another one there that was a clown. It was called Pop Goes the Evil. I saw it one year. I don't know. I know it's a very old one. They brought it back or brought a new one back or something. I don't know. There's so many inflatables to even count. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to say goodbye in this video. And I'm just going to end the credits with you watching him go for a little bit longer. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I've never seen anyone review this on YouTube. Maybe one guy. And I do like his YouTube channel. You might know who I'm talking about. I can't remember his name right now. Anyway, so I'm just going to end the video here. See y'all. Peace.